Because I was funny in school, too. I could get a special. Could I get a special? Could I get in your show? Because look, here's what I can do. Like that, right? I bet you thought, like, there was a dolphin or a whale or maybe a car crash. And listen, is that freaky or what? Can I be in the show? I went to a dance one time. She was at a different dance. I wish she was at the dance I was at. I haven't seen her in years, but good luck to her. And if you see her, tell her I said, hi, slut. That's what I always called her, slut. I was in the Playboy Mansion last night. Really? Yes, I met Meathead from All in the Family. Rob Reiner, he, he still goes by Meathead. Yeah, and I was in the ping pong room with Quincy. Jack Klugman? Yeah, and he sounded really funny. Not funny, ha-ha, but funny because he had a... Tracheotomy voice box. Yeah, and I met Anna Nicole Smith. She's so stuck up. I, I would really like to meet her. No, she's conceited. No, I don't mind that in a multi-millionaire Playboy bunny, strangely. Welcome to the Babe Bennett Mystery Movie. Tonight's episode, Double Indemnity. Hmm. If I was a bugle, I'd blow Reveille. Look alive, you two. Good morning, Miss Bennett. Good morning, Shorty. What do you know, Charlie? You look swell, babe. I can eat you with gravy. A little early for that, isn't it? Why don't you just stick a bagel up my nose and call me breakfast? It's a start. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Shorty? Not so sweet and nothing, Miss Bennett. Sure, it's hard to find a fella these days. No, it ain't. Why, I've had plenty of fellas. Yeah, you've had love. Well, plenty of fellas. Sure, true love. You can't have love and be the number one dick in this town, kid. You've had true love, Miss Bennett. Real love. Plenty of love. Oh, you've had love, but love got away, didn't it, babe, huh? Love got away. Shut up, Shorty. Yeah, love got away. I called the taxi, I guess. Yeah, part of it, you too. <sighs> yeah, I've had love. First time I had love. It only stayed long enough to take my pulse and check my throat. And take a culture, I guess, and send it to the lab. Came back negative, but I don't know. I still felt like a little soreness in my throat. The only other time was one day when love was at the pool. He blew his silver whistle and shouted, Everyone out of the pool! He had a pool. The pools of my brown eyes where I'd held him for 40 family swim minutes while the chlorine murmured summer and the wind whispered, I don't know, I'm not a wind interpreter. Oh, there you are. I was hoping I'd find you alone. I prayed to God. Look, if this is about last night, I just want to say I enjoy a... A little bit of footsie as much as the next fellow. But don't you go breaking your vows on my account. Chastity. I was absent that day. Naked with a nun! Look, I don't know what sisterhood you're a card-carrying member of, but before this activity gets me a toasty corner of hell, I just gotta tell you, my heart belongs to Lady Hammond. <laughs> Not that stuck-up British blonde who any fool can tell holds you in total contempt. That's my gal. <laughs> the ever so graceful and beautiful Miss Canada International. I had a little chat with the Hutus and the Tootsies. I sat them down in the little hut I had there. It was only a little hut, right? Only a little altruist hut, you might say, right? And I said to them, Bysler, come on, Bysler. You don't like that, right? And, you know, they were so ripe, right? They just went, yeah. And then they looked up, like, into each other's eyes, like, and I almost bawled when they did this, I tell you. And they says to each other, Gingabawa, like that, right? Which is like, I guess, a little bit like when Dad said to me, like, even though he never passed grade 11, even though he stole all that stuff from Zellers, and even though we were at each other's throats for the last six or seven years, like, I love you. I don't think we're going to hear any problems out of Rwanda for a long, long, long time, I'll tell you that. Kitten, kitten with fur, kitten that's purr. Love, I love you. You go make the money, I'll get my bikini line waxed. You go get the wine, baby. I'll have scrambled egg on toast for you when you get back. I'll be a kitten, kitten with fur. I would not incur suffering on you. I would not cough up a hairball on your beautiful suit. 
always go up naked except for a white shiny high heeled boot I would never bother you with opinion whatever you say will go all your filet will be mingled I'll always wear sunscreen form fitting in the snow to the life section this morning, it's immediately apparent that Lois Lane is not editor-in-chief down there yet. Great big article on the new book about the surrendered wife. I was a surrendered wife myself until 1963 when I was liberated by an unforeseen aneurysm. How did I feel? Well, have you seen the time-lapse ad of the Pillsbury popping fresh dough and they crack it on the counter and it starts to escape its container? Yeah, like